So we enter into this sleepy planet. We enter into this unconscious dimension, totally unaware of its own behaviors. And then you have to weigh your way back home. So upon your arrival into this dimension, you already impacted by these very powerful imprints, which is very confusing. So I have to say congratulations for making it to this point. Congratulations that you're not a mass murderer or mass rapist or you are still straight and you're dedicated to your path because all the odds were against you from right in the beginning from your time that you entered into this dimension most of the information that was given to you was to confuse you and to screw you up. Now, forget, we haven't even talked about that nine months that couples, you can see it, look around you in the world. The couples, they've been fighting with each other. Somehow the girl got pregnant uh, it was too early, too fast. They've been seeing each other for three weeks or a month or six months or a year. And she gets pregnant and they think maybe if they have the child together, they're, if things are going to work out. Or nowadays women do want to have their own children. And they want to be a single mother and uh, they have a deep desire, which it's their right to have. It's their nature to have. They want to have a child, but, but the awareness is not of the implications and the damages that we're inflicting upon our newborn children and the generation that we are going to need to survive. And we have no idea what we're doing to them. Zero. Just we're completely asleep, totally asleep. of what's going on. That's why I mentioned, by the way, I need to credit this quote to Robert Anton Wilson from a book called Prometheus Rising, that Robert Anton Wilson says, how do you expect fairness and decency on a planet of sleepy people? So, what about the couples who've been fighting and arguing with each other, or they hate each other, or they're angry at each other, whether it's the first child or second child or whatever, and the marriage or the union is going sour, or the mom has been threatened, something's been happening, she's going through a lot of insecurities because she, she's a single mom, she doesn't have an income. Everything that is happening to her and the baby's there and the baby's aware of it. We're con completely ignorant to that, that this is a living entity, totally aware of what's going on. And is aware of the arguments of the anger, of the fear, of the threat, of the insecurity, of all the stories happening between the two couple and is going to come into this world. So, the reason I'm bringing this up is I want us to understand we're 
I mentioned this is about the truth of who we are. And the truth is not always pretty. And the truth is not always something we want to hear and to look at. It could be very disturbing because we have to look into the light. And the light could be very disturbing when we're used to the darkness for a long time. It's not comforted, comforting. But i rather to be awake and come and look into my own darkness than stay asleep for thousands of years, even though it may be painful, but I want to look into it. So look at this connection. Look at this connection of the entrance into this dimension of violence, love, tits, penis, Abandonment, look at the connection. They're all connected to each other. And look at the world you're in right now. Go on Instagram. Go on social media and see what happens. See what you find. Look at it. Take your time and take a look and browse through and see what has become of the new generation. So, I haven't even entered into the realm of sexuality. I haven't explained that part to you yet of how it's connected to shame and guilt and the implications that has manifested in this dimension. That I will get into as well. Maybe not today, but I'm going to get into that. So I'm going to go through everything section by section and dissecting everything. But from looking at the first part that I explained to you, you can connect that how we're associating violence and getting mutilated or doing that to other people, how it's being associated with love, how violence or betrayal, or being abandoned is associated with mommy's tits, or tits in general. Hi, it's being associated with penis. These are all imprints that happen in very early entrance into this world. So then there is this confusion that it connects things to each other. There is this confusion for a young girl that if, if the boy is a bad boy and he's leaving her and not giving her attention, is actually in her psyche, that's the guy. That's the one she wants and that's the one she loves. Because her psyche, in very early imprint, is connected to her with her dad, the part that she adores and loves and worships, and the dad, so she feels this love with her dad in early stages of her life, and the dad leaves. So any man that comes into the picture who is not available and is about to leave is what she's unconsciously associating it to love. So she loves, she wants bad boys. 